so game jams as i promise i have another presentation i hope that you don't hate me for that no no at all <laughs> okay so uh again for sake of re this recording hi i'm patrick gawach i'm ceo of lublin game foundation and of course i'm head of game department at netting software and what makes me uh, speak about game jams and why you should attend those uh, those are a few games that I make on few of game jams that I attend. The last, tens, last test entrance is over here. The uh, story about this uh, game uh, is that literally a week after I arrived here in Las Vegas, uh, I just get a message, hey, listen, there is this uh, Las Vegas summer game jam event going on. Maybe you should attend, uh, attend this. Uh, so yeah, I, I was thinking, Hmm, okay, this sounds good. Uh, I, I should go. But I didn't know anyone. So uh, I was there just running, walking, speaking with people, and I was like, okay, it looks like I'm going to make game al alone. But after, uh, after speaking with a few people, uh, we somehow formed a team. And actually, this is the best game I ever made <laughs> on a game jam. <laughs> and crazy enough, uh, this game won the first pl uh, prize. So. <laughs> yeah, but it was team effort. So Albert, also for you. <laughs> so what game jam is? Who don't know what game jam is? Whoa, okay, so Game Jam basically uh, is a challenge. It's a challenge that you will create a game with very limited time and sometimes with a specific theme uh, going on on a Game Jam. So uh, this last one uh, in Las Vegas was like two days, basically. Uh, Connor was host of this Game Jam and it was great, amazing. <laughs> so. Why you should consider going uh, for game jam even? Of course, come on. If you want to get into game industry, you need to meet people. And on a game jam, it's the best place uh, to meet those because you will uh, meet other people that have more experience so you also can learn from them. And of course, you have to do this big brainstorming because uh, often themes for game jams are released literally on the beginning of the game jam. So you have like only a few hours to come up with ideas. So a lot of work. Of course, you will need to learn to collaborate with other people. So uh, if you don't have your own team, uh, then you should uh, form uh, or join others uh, and help them. If you don't have any experience with making games, then the best option, is that, uh, the best option that I can give you, try to find people that need some help. Probably it won't be something related to programming or making models or anything like that, but maybe they will struggle with maybe finding some songs, uh, music, or they will just need some kind of uh, simple game story just for sake of having them. And of course, you have time to test your ideas. And let's say you came up with idea, okay, I want to create some kind of uh, RPG game with a uh, card-based uh, gameplay. And with Game Jam, this is great because you will force yourself to make this game within the time limit. So you will waste let's say, only weekend or you, of your life, or maybe afterwards you will work later on this project. But if it won't work, then you will, you will already see that uh, this is not the, the way I envisioned that, and maybe I should not follow this idea anymore. So how you should prepare yourself for game jam? Of course, you will need to bring a few things. Of course, computer, laptop, PC, whatever you want. You also need uh, to pre-install your favorite software or with uh, tools that you will use on a game jam. So if you are a programmer, you need, let's say, game engine, uh, you need Visual Studio or other IDE. If you are a graphic, then 
you will need probably Photoshop, Blender, GIMP, whatever, you name it. You probably know more about those. And of course, you have to have open mind, especially as theme, uh, themes are presented on the site. So this will uh, help you a lot because fixing on one idea, it's not the best uh, thing you can do on a game jam. So of course you should use already existing tools. So using a uh, created engine like Unity, Unreal, Construct, there's plenty more of those and you can choose whatever is suits you. And yeah, of course you will also need to be familiar with the tool and going on a game jam without knowing anything about tools that you are going to use. It's not the smartest idea, but some people still, still do it. Of course, uh, making games require something nice to look at. So using box is not something acceptable besides maybe making a very minimalistic game. And you can find so many free assets available online. So for example, opengameart.org or kenai.nl or Whatever engine that you are using, you can go to Marketplace uh, in Unity is like my asset store. On Unreal, it's Marketplace basically, but probably for other, uh, other tools, there is something very similar. So how can you survive Game Jam? Of course, uh, before Game Jam, I recommend getting some sleep because uh, with fresh mind, you can create so much more and you can come up with even better ideas. And uh, you, you should also get some rest during the game jam uh, if you don't come up with something too big. Besides, you, don't, you shouldn't have to do that. Uh, of course, you will need team. Uh, you can form it on a game jam site or you can form it with your friends before the game jam. And because why you would even bother with that? Because with more, more people, you can create so much more. And sometimes uh, as Game Jam have very limited time, probably you won't have time to make all those things. So having additional hands to help with your game, this is something really cool. And of course, you need to know your uh, weaknesses. And uh, especially uh, we test that uh, uh, with, uh, well, Albert came up with idea to let's let's make brainstorm and let's filter. Uh, we, let's came up with s uh, as many ideas as we can, and we throw them on a whiteboard that we have on the game jam site. And after throwing whole bunch of them, we finally start filter filtering them uh, for uh, first uh, for those uh, which we are liking more. And then as we end up with like, let's say five, uh, then we will start discussing, okay, uh, we are a team of uh, programmers, designers, but we don't really have much experience with making graphics. So this limit us to making something programming heavy and something very light on asset sites. And those sites that I showed you previously, those are, Great for providing those. And uh, of course, the first important rule of every game jam idea you should have is not to overcomplicate because you will end up with too big game that you want to create in too little time. And at some point you realize that, oh my, hmm, uh, we have just like, let's say two hours left and we are in the middle of nowhere. And well, I, I have to say that uh, we were pretty lucky with our ideas because our idea because it was so simple that basically uh, on a second day morning we basically have mechanic done and we just need to throw a whole bunch of assets uh, into a game. And of course, this is a very important one. So have some. Fun, come on, we are spending together weekend of our life. We are making games. This is amazing how lucky we are to make those. Come on. Uh, so remember, have fun, meet other people, help them if, or if you don't know how to do something, ask other for help. And you will be surprised how, how much you can learn 
during only, let's say, two days, only one weekend. Come on. This is a great, great thing. And of course, on top of all of those things, you will have game created within one weekend. How cool is that? And just to show you how amazing game gems are, uh, we are running, whoa, okay. No, no. Um. Okay. Let's, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? No way. Let's refresh our presentation. Yeah, so uh, on top of that, uh, we are also hosting game jams, especially for, for global game jam that took, uh, is taking place in last weekends of January. So I highly encourage you to attend one or maybe host site even here in Las Vegas because I saw that for last five years there, were, there was no game jam, global game jam site for, come on, Las Vegas, you can make it. Okay, will it work or not? Okay, uh, YouTube, ah, yeah, we have to do it old school way, loop, jam. Okay, great. What? Okay, so, uh, maybe this, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's. Yeah, but I I play it already. Let's. Uh. What? How can you? Really? Okay. <sighs> What a shame, what a shame. Okay, so I won't be able to show that. Uh, so believe me, it's so fun to make games within the, this limited time. And the best part is that after all those time you spent on the site making those games, you will, after all of this, you will get feedback on your idea and your implementation of the game. And with that, uh, there's no game jam site re uh, register yet for this event, and I highly encourage you to host one uh, because I will probably I will host one in Lublin, so I can't do this. Uh, so it's up to you to uh, host second biggest game jam uh, in Las Vegas after, of course, summer one. <laughs> So yeah, come on, go ahead. Uh, hosting game jam site, it's not that big, uh, big problem besides finding location. And if you need to get what, uh, what steps you need to take, then come, come to me afterwards and we can chat about that. So with that said, oh my, I'm so sad because it's so amazing. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Any questions? <laughs> Thank you. So questions related to game jams and why it's so, why they are so amazing? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, so thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and meeting all those People on the game side, it's so freaking amazing because you see passion in, in their faces and they are running, ah, oh, I need to make this game, ah, oh, coding. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so about uh, networking, uh, I think we don't have any more presentations. So I think, uh, someone want to tell anything else? Okay, I will let Gunnar say his things. <laughs> YouTube, you betrayed me. Why? 
uh, it's loop gem. Uh, so first, L U B gem. We can we can post it on our, our social media afterwards. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Patrick. Um, yeah, I don't have anything so formal.